A lot of people had the story, they could never get the script down. Right. And then one day I read that Steven Spielberg's DreamWorks had it and that they were thinking of making a movie. So I looked at it just like, yeah, like everybody else over You're the last right. 20 Steven years. Spielberg. It's never, never going to happen. happen. Just like all these other people that had it. And, um, but then I started to read that he had created a script. Mm -hmm. uh, then I read that he decided to direct it, which was unbelievable. And every day was something else. I learned that Leonardo DiCaprio had been played, picked for the part. Then a few days later, I learned that Tom Hanks was the FBI agent. Which he was fantastic. And, did you know, he do that character justice? Oh, he, he did an incredible job. The, yeah. the real character and I, whose real name was Joseph Shea, S-H-E-A, he and I were friends for 30 years. He was the agent who chased me. After that, we became mm -hmm. very great friends and remained friends until his death just a few years ago. Matter of fact, the last book I wrote, Stealing Your Life, I dedicated that book to him and our relationship over wow. 30 years. Fortunately, I had two daughters who are married now and have children. I'm very close to his daughters. Mm -hmm. But he was on the set during the making of the film. He was an Irishman from Boston. He had that accent. And Tom Hanks did just a great job of looking like him, yeah. acting like him, and carrying the character. So I was so fortunate to get all of mm -hmm. these incredible people make this, make this movie. And I thought that Steven Spielberg went out of his way to stay very close to the story. He was very mm -hmm. concerned that he not be criticized for saying things that happened that didn't happen. Right. Uh, he took out things that he didn't think were important, like in real life I had two brothers and a sister. He said I was an only child. You know, in real life I didn't have that contact with my father, but he thought it was important to bring Christopher Walken in yes. so people knew the relationship I had with my father. But pretty much he stayed close, very close to the mm -hmm. story. And as he told me, um, when uh, the first time I saw the film, he asked me to give me his comments, and I watched the film at his office, mm -hmm. in a little movie theater in his office, by myself, Wow! and watched it. So when I got out of the theater, the little theater, his assistant, it was at nighttime, she mm -hmm. handed me the phone, and she said, Stephen wants to talk to you about the film. I said, I really can't talk to him right now. What? I said, no, you know, I really need to, it was so surreal that I really need to go home and think about this. So she really? said, you're not going to speak Nobody to Mr. Tells Spielberg? Nobody tells Steven no. Spielberg, no. So I did. So I said, I will call him, you know. Yeah. So it was three days later, and my office said that he had called, and he was waiting. So I was in the Los Angeles airport. Whoa. I was coming back from a trip. I called him on the pay phone, and he said, all I want to know is one thing. When the movie was over, what did you think the movie was about? And I said, well, I felt it was about you know, a movie about divorce is a very devastating thing for some children to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, that redemption, the movie was all about redemption, that you can turn your life around. About living in a different era when mm -hmm. you could get away with those things. And, yes. uh, and uh, I said, that's kind of what I walked away from the film. And he said, that's exactly what I wanted you to walk away with.